Last year, over 50 staff and associates from within Keeping Children Safe membership abused children in some way. No organisation is immune. The members of Keeping Children Safe are ahead of the game on child safeguarding and yet still 52 cases occurred. You need to take action now. Think about the risks to children and how you can minimise those risks. Every organisation that works with children or comes into contact with children in some way has a responsibility to protect those children. Abuse and harm to children can arise from a number of ways in which an organisation has contact with those children. It can arise from badly planned and implemented programmes, can arise from badly planned and executed communication activities, it can arise from your staff or associates or partners and it can arise from other organisational operations that have not been thought through from a risk perspective. When we're talking about harm and abuse, we're talking about physical abuse, such as smacking or hitting, we're talking about sexual abuse, we're talking about neglect, and we're talking about emotional abuse. We know from research and statistics that abuse of children can have a catastrophic effect on their development into adulthood. Child safeguarding is the responsibility that organisations have to ensure that their programmes, their staff and their operations do no harm to children. We know that children feel safer when organisations put those measures into place. <coughs> lên chỗ bồi kịp đẹp đã, rồi có bớt xin cái xong thoát rút, giờ ở ở ai ở cái thoát ba này dựng cua ta đi cà mau mà. Keeping children safe is here to support you. By joining our network, you will be making a commitment to ensuring your organisation does no harm to children. It will also help you meet the responsibilities set out in the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child to protect children from all forms of abuse, neglect, exploitation and violence. <coughs> Over the last 12 years, Keeping Children Safe has set international standards and developed guidance for organisations to put those standards into place. By implementing our standards, you can assure yourselves that children are better protected, that your staff and associates are better protected and that you can uphold and maintain your credibility and reputation as an organisation that is keeping children safe. Act now. Conduct a risk assessment within your organisation and think about the risks that you may be presenting to children and how you can mitigate those risks. Download our standards and our guidance and act to take preventive measures so that you can assure yourself you're keeping children safe. <laughs>